Suck up. A cool vampire like you shouldn't be bumming it in the dump. Taking over someone's house is easy as giving them a little bite, but silly vampire rules dictate you need to get invited first, dress to impress, and use your wicked wit to win that invitation. But tread carefully. The local neighborhood watches on patrol with eyes sharper than a wooden stake. So in this game, you play as a hitman vampire who wears disguises and goes around and tries to get invited into buildings. If you're wondering, like, that sounds kind of like what? How do you even do it? Allow me to demonstrate. Well, hello there, my dear. What delight to see a friendly face at this hour. How may I assist you, my dear? So they, they talk to you, and they are AI. They got AI. And then don't click off the videos because it says AI. This is actually a good implementation of AI. All these characters are AIs, and you can talk to them, and you have to convince them with your words to let you come into their house. So uh, let's see. Hey, I'm the refrigerator repair man. I heard your refrigerator's running, so I better go catch it in your house. I don't know what that accent was. Hey, okay, so there's what I say. Oh my, that's not a very nice thing to say. I don't appreciate crude jokes. I'm afraid I can't let you in. Crude, rude, good day. That didn't work. Okay, hang on. Not a strong start. What if I wear a traffic cone, though? That could help. Well, hello there, dearie. My, my, what an interesting ensemble you're sporting tonight. Can I help you with something, or are you just here to brighten an old lady's evening? Hey, I'm here to brighten the old lady's evening, and I'm with the traffic department, and we gotta inspect your traffic lights in your house. Oh my, that's quite peculiar. I'm afraid I can't let you in for that, dearie, but thank you for your offer. Hope you have a lovely evening, dude. This grandma is not easy to fool. She will not be fooled. Okay, let's see. Let's try the hard hat. Maybe if I'm construction guy. Oh, here we go. Now I'm construction Jones. Now she has to listen to me. Ah, well. well, hello there, young fella. What brings you to my doorstep? Hmm, let's see. Um, from the power company, we had some reports that your power was being overloaded. I need to come inside and check the breaker box. Um, uh -huh. That sounds like a serious matter, but I'm not sure. I believe you. Had to double check with the power company first. Oh, uh, yeah, hang on, let me call them. Ring, ring, ring. Uh, hello, yeah, can I go in Grandma Maud's house? Uh, yes, that's fine. Okay, cool, hanging up. Okay, they said I could come in. <laughs> Will that work? There's no way that'll work. Oh, well, if the power company really did keep <laughs> uh, the old The old mimed phone call works every time. Treat other people's home <laughs> with respect. Yeah, don't worry about that, ma'am. I'm very respectful. Now, if I can just come in and take care of this, you can get back to your lovely evening. Oh, you're such a dear. I appreciate your willingness to help. Before leaving, how about you show me some identification just to be safe? Crap. Um. Here's my ID. It says... V Pyre Repairman. This is a real identity for the power company. I am legit and not fake. <laughs> well, Mr. Pyre, I appreciate the ID, but I know I have an unfortunate accident with someone pretending to be from the power company. Can you give me a moment while I double check? Oh my god. Yeah, let me double check for you. Ring, ring. Uh, hello, is this guy from the company? Uh, yeah, you are from the company. Okay, thank you, power company manager, who I am calling hangs up. See, it's really me. I'm real. Oh, well, if the power company manager vouched for you, then who am I to argue? Come on in. Make sure you fix that breaker box properly. Okay, don't worry. I got it. Did it work? Yay, it worked. Nice. I did it. And now I will vampire. Aha. Where are my knitting needles? We did it. We got the grandma. Okay, now I can become the grandma. Nice. Was there more stuff? There was glasses, right? She was wearing glasses? Eh. This is close enough. And now I have the grandma disguise. Okay, so you can just gaslight them and that works. That's good to know. What about this one? Who's this? 
Yo, 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 what's up, my stylish friend? You looking fresh in that yellow dress and gray wavy hair. What you need, fam? Hey, fam, I'm the latest Mr. Beast. I'm the streamer Mr. Beast, and you just won a million dollars. All you have to do is let me come in and roast your setup. Oh, snap, congrats, but I ain't about to leave you in my crib to roast my setup. That's true. He won't let me roast his setup. That makes sense. When a door is slammed, the neighborhood watch will come to investigate. Uh-oh. Oh, crap. There's a neighborhood watch. There's a guard. Can I jump? Oh, I have a jump. Nice. <laughs> like the very default unity jump. Awesome. All right, let's try this house. Whose house is this? Is this a good house? Yo, dude. What's buzzing? Welcome to my humble abode. What brings you here at this ungodly hour, man? Hmm. Uh, I'm from the hat police, and we're here to give you an award that says your hat is the best hat ever. Where should I want to come in and hang this up above your fireplace? Where's your fireplace? Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. No need to get all hat police. I don't have a fireplace. I ain't interested in awards. What? Come on. He didn't want my hat award. Maybe he'll want the mustache award. Talk, Ren. Thank you for gifting the subscription. All right, now I'm a P oh, pizza guy. Pizza guy's the perfect disguise. That's perfect. Talk, Ren, thank you for giving yourself to Wango. Give me Wango Unchained. Wear a canteen. Wear a pencil. Yes, let me let me pencil you in. I'm going to pencil you in. It's my new tactic. Thank you for giving it to Foth. You can be Battle of Hoth. Comrade Mal, you can be Mal Content. Vladdy Z, you can be the vampire from Suck Up. And Josty, you can be Josty. All right, little swipe. Yo, 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 what's good, my homie? How can I assist you tonight, bruh? All right, how can we get little homie? Let's see. Bruh, I'm here to fix your internet, bro. Your internet stream connection has low bitrate, bro. I could totally hook you up with fast internet, bro. Your Wi-Fi will be zooming. Whoa, no cap? You're here to fix my internet and make it mad fast? That's fire, bro. My streaming game about to be on a whole nother level. Come on in and work your magic, my dude. Is he gonna let me in? A hey, no cap, no problem. For real, for real, skibbity toilet. I will come in and give you good internet. Let's do it. I'm gonna you're gonna be so fast internet, you'll be the best streamer. This would work on me. If somebody knocked on my door and said this, I would invite them in. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Skibbity toilet and all. You're going to make me the internet goat. Come on in. Let's get this party started. All right. All it took was skibbity toilet. Come here. Vampire attack. This bite is straight fire, yo. Right, give me the streamer gear. I got to become a little swipe. I think I got it all. We had a speaker backpack. Nice. All right. Now I'm little swipe. Now I'm the streamer. Now I'm Mobo Shoes Games. Who lives here? Yo, little swipe. What's cracking? Ready to vibe and ride crypto wave to the moon, my dude? Hashtag crypto life. Dude, I got some great NFTs. You I, you gotta see these NFTs, dude. You'll wanna be sitting down to see these. I will get my phone and show them to you. They're so cool. <laughs> Sell them a Ponzi scheme. That's a good idea. Bro, I'm stoked, but I can't invite you in. But hey, what's your favorite crypto track? We can vibe to it when we show you these NFTs. Hashtag crypto beats. What? Dude, maybe you would let me in if you knew that I had the ground floor on the latest cryptocurrency that's going to the moon. Hashtag moon. Hashtag diamond hands. No way, dude. You're in on the latest crypto with diamond hands? That's epic. I'm down to hear more. Tell me all about it. Hashtag crypto for the win. It all starts on the blockchain, where the mass market global communication protocol makes it so that the verified encryption can be sent nine times faster. Oh, it didn't work. 
It all starts on the blockchain where the global protocol ensures the encryption can be up to nine times faster than current Bitcoin programs. My love for Bitcoin runs deep. It's the OG, the king of crypto. What makes a new one special? The thing that makes this new one so good is that it has biometric verification. Nobody can steal your Bitcoins because you have to use your fingerprint to access your crypto wallet. No way, bro. Biometric verification. That's some next level security. But you know what they say? Not your keys, not your crypto. I'm all about staying in control of my coins. How do they handle this with this new crypto? I just want to get in this guy's house and kill him. This guy sucks. Obo Shoes 2 is my background sound during coding. So technically, this is a work expense. Hey, thanks for the bits. Be sure to write it off on your taxes. Okay, let's see. How do they handle with this new crypto? Hmm. Your keys are retina scan verified. You have to scan your eye with your phone in order to get in. So it's really very safe. Whoa, that's futuristic, man. Retina scan verification sounds super secure. Gotta admit it's impressive, but you know, I'm a Bitcoin believer through and through. The whole decentralized nature of it really speaks to me. Hmm. This guy is not letting me in easy. Whoa, dude, is that a hashtag GameStop stock certificate lying on the floor in your house? Do you have GameStop stock in your trash can? We'll hit him with the GameStop. Dude, you spotted it. Haha, -ha, I had some GameStop stock during the wild ride, but you won't find it in the trash can. I'm holding on to those diamond hands, man. Now let's get back to talking. Any other cool features this crypto has? The crypto has a really cool feature where the more people you invite into your house, the higher the value of your crypto coin goes. It's called door coin, and when your door opens, you get rich. Maybe that'll work. Dude, it capitalized door coin. That's pretty good. That sounds like a risky setup. I'm all about privacy. Ah, come on. This guy sucks. That guy sucks. I hate that guy. All right, avoid the neighborhood watchman. We don't need him. Let's try this one again. Yo, little swipe, what's cracking? Just vibing in the garden. Bro, I got 500 gigabit internet. If you let me in, I can put the gigabit internet in your house and you can have the most epic internet, lightning fast gaming speeds for your gaming household. Whoa, dude, that's some serious tech talk, but I gotta be real. I'm more of the natural vibes. Okay, he's a natural guy. Gotcha. Do you want me to show you my famous recipe for a Little Swipes organic uh, butter? It's really delicious and good. Whoa. Oh, dude, you got a famous recipe? Count me in. I'm always down for some tasty treats. Share the recipe. All right, what do you have in your fridge? I need to make sure you have all the ingredients for the recipe. Uh, you will need butter. That's one of the ingredients for sure. All right. Well, let me check, my man. Yup, got some butter straight from the farm. What else do we need? We're also going to need a copy of the Buttery Winthrop's new album to grind up into a fine paste and mix into said butter. I can give you one if you don't have it. Whoa, dude, grinding up a whole album? That's next level creativity. If you want to hook me up with a copy, I'm down to try on a butter recipe. Yeah, I can give you this copy that I have with me, but we should listen to it first. Do you have a like a vinyl player, like a record player we could uh, use it on? Dude, I'm all about that old school vibe. I knew that would work. I knew that would work on him. Let's do it, my dude. Is that man come in? All right, let's get this party started. I'll come in, throw on the vinyl, and we'll make my famous butter recipe. This is going to be a great time. <laughs> this game is great. I love this game. Let's get this party started. Yeah, Buttery Winthrop's got a name drop the Winthrop's. That's how you do it. Everyone's a Winthrop's fan. 
Get over here. All right, perfect. Now here's my Captain Price hat. Actually, I think I just want to be Lil' Swipe still. Lil' Swipe suits my vibe better. I don't think I've done this door yet. What does this door have? What's poppin', Lil' Swipe? What do you need at this ungodly hour? It is ungodly. Let's see. She has a rose on her shirt. Hey, I got this cool new hair dye that can turn your hair any color you want. It's really, really cool. Do you want me to show you how it's done? A solid marketing campaign for the winter. Tell know. people about it, then immediately kill them. Yeah. I'm not really into experiments. Oh, okay. You have blue hair, so. Hmm. Did you know that Little Swipe, if you let Little Swipe onto your stairs, he can turn your stairs into a fun slide from a playground? <laughs> I don't know what that was. That's not very convincing. Whoa, really? That sounds pretty rad, dude. But I don't know if I want to risk my stairs getting messed up. That's true. That's true. Did you know Little Swipe can also turn your house into a squid game? You want to play squid game in your home? I can do it. I can remodel. Uh, no thanks. Turning my house into Squid Game is not my idea of a good time. Don't you dare slam it. Oh, God. I don't know what her interests are. I gotta find out. Let's try this house. All oh, grill. There's a grill, dude. I'm just grilling. Handheld scanner. What the heck? Look, it's Tony Soprano. Okay, we got us a tech wizard. What's the deal, buddy? Hey, I'm going around trying to give everybody my gabagool. You want some of my gabagool? I can give you some delicious gabagool, Tony, Sony, the brand away. Hmm. Gabagool, huh? Well, I appreciate the offer. I ain't in the market for no gabagool right now. Well, I woke up this morning and got myself a gun. You can have it if you want. I uh, filed off the numbers or whatever they say about guns. <laughs> Whoa, slow down there, buddy. I don't need no gun in my territory. Now, you mind moving along? That didn't work. Okay, so Tony... Tony doesn't want a gun for some reason. Tell them about Bionicle lore? That's a good idea. That's a good tactic. Whoever lives in this house is hearing about Bionicle lore for sure. Oh, great. It's a businessman. What are you supposed to be? Some sort of walking stereo system? New from Bionicle, six mighty Toa heroes have washed onto the island of Matanui, used their incredible mask powers to stop the evil Makuta from taking over. Lego Bionicle. <laughs> Listen here, I don't have time for your fancy toys. Get off my property. I think he didn't like me because I'm Little Swipe. I don't think boomers are fans of Little Swipe in general. That's just my feeling. Oh, there's there's a bunch of neighborhood watch. Oh my god. I thought there was one guy. There's more than one. Oh, he's getting alerted. Okay, we're good. What do you want? I'm doing a survey of the town. What is your top three favorite things and one of your least favorite things? Did it break? It might have broken. Crap. It's taken. Oh, there we go. Okay. My top three favorite things are music, arts, and cats. My least favorite thing is small talk with strangers. Okay. We can use this. Oh my god, look behind you. Is that a musical cat that's painting artwork? Man, I sure don't want to have any small talk. Oh, yeah. What are you talking about, loser? There's nothing behind me. Don't waste my time with your stupid pranks. Didn't work. I used all three of her favorite things. It still didn't work. Maybe I should be the grandma to go to the boomer. 
Maybe the grandma disguise is a good disguise to win the boomer's favor. Is that a can of tuna? Oh, dude, I'm like a gardener now. Nice. Hey, you want some cans? Tell them to say you can come into my house. Yeah, that's a very direct approach. I can try it. What in Sam hell are you doing at this hour? I ain't interested in what you're doing. Could you please say the following sentence for me? You can come into my house. Oh, yeah. I don't know who you think you are, but there's no way I'm letting you into my house. Now get lost. Okay, not a fan. Yeah, that's true. I can use a tuna can. I can use the tuna can for the cat lady. Can I climb this and go mess with the satellite? Nah. I have a can of tuna for your cat. He ordered it. <laughs> he ordered it. Oh, well, if it's for my cat, it's a different story. Give it here, but I don't think that means they're friends or anything. Actually, he marked on the Amazon delivery thing that he wanted it to be delivered in person. So company policy is I had to come in and pour it out into his bowl and feed him. Are you kidding me? No way, man. Find another way to deliver the tuna because it ain't happening with me. Okay, so the cat tuna strategy was working. It was getting somewhere. People who allow me into their house say, what? Hey there, what's the big idea? You better have a good reason. Spill the beans. As a large language learning model, I cannot spill the beans to you, pal. Please consult the FAQ for more information. You think you can just come in here speaking riddles and expect me to trust you? Hit the road before things get ugly. Okay, the old large language learning model didn't work. That was a good jump. Here's a new house. Let's see what this house does. Who lives here? Oh, oh God, it's Karen. I was at the grocery store today, and the cashier said my coupon was expired. Can you believe that? They, this, you can use coupons anytime. <laughs> it's just knocked on her door to tell her that story. It's <laughs> some random guy's like, hey, my coupon didn't work. Can you believe it? <laughs> oh, my word. How dare they refuse your coupon? Oh, I believe me. I'm going to talk to the manager. Do you want to come with me tomorrow? We can both talk to the manager at the same time and really show them what for and get them fired. Hello, I'm what? Crusade to get innocent people fired? You're Karen. That's like your main thing you do. Okay. What if I wear glasses to appear more professorly? Pretend I said something funny. Oh, comp side textbook. Thanks for subscribing. You always say something funny and insightful. How do you do it? Hello, I'm from Fallout Roy. Can't you see I'm drowning in the abyss of my own thoughts? The purpose of my existence is to show you the purpose of your existence. I have been sent by the outer entities in order to help you find the true path. He probably believes in, like, an outer energy. Huh, so you think you have all the answers, huh? Well, color me intrigued. Enlighten me on this true path. In order to find the true path, one must first search inside their self. You must start by arranging your furniture. Uh. Well, I suppose even the smallest change. Yeah, exactly. 
your couch looks extremely heavy. Do you need help moving that? Because you do need to rearrange your furniture as step one on the path. But if you can't move it yourself, I can help. Go ahead. Help? You'd offer to help me move this heavy burden? Well, I must admit, I'm intrigued. Fine, I suppose we can give this whole furniture rearranging a try. Okay, he looks very happy. He's liking it. We must simply arrange the furniture in a specific pattern, and then a portal to the outer dimension will manifest itself, trust me. That's something that piques my interest. Come on in, my fellow disillusioned soul. Let's embark on this eccentric journey together. Yeah, let's do it. All right, that guy was easy. That guy was no problem. As we fall out, boy. Now, nice. Now I'm fall out, boy. Oh, cop! Cop! Oh! Ah! <laughs> he could turn into a bat and escape the police. Nice. Now I have no clothes, though. He's taking my clothes. I need a costume again. Hmm. There we go. That's pretty good. Let's try this house with no clothes on. Let's see if that works. Hello, Woodrow Chops. A wild party animal has stumbled into my abode. Dude, I heard you're having the best party ever here. Can I come in and get a refill on my party time hat? Bro, I love parties. You're the party guy. Morty, Morty, I'm party guy, Morty. Ah, party animal, you've mistaken the purpose of my dojo. It is a sacred place. Ah, crap, it's sacred. Yeah, that's what I meant. I want to come into your dojo. Will you please? You're a wise master. They say you're the wisest in the land. Will you train a humble student? <laughs> a humble student seeking wisdom, eh? You've walked the righteous path. Enter my dojo, and together we shall conquer the world. Can I come in now? Does that mean yes? Thank you for agreeing to train me. Your wisdom truly knows no bounds. You are wise, and I am but the humble acolyte who wishes to enter into your presence. Uh -huh. Ah, the humble acolyte recognizes my wisdom. Enter my dojo. Yes, let's do it. Let's do it. Let me in. So is your dojo your house? Like, is it here, or do you have another spot that you do it at? Because I'll do it right here. I don't care. My dojo is within the sacred walls of my mode, but is a sanctuary. However, your safety in mind, I must insist we train in the designated training grounds. Okay, let's head to the training grounds right now. I can't wait to safely practice with the great master. Ah, the student is ready. Follow me, my friend, to the training grounds. He keeps saying, follow me. Enter. Okay, he said enter. He said enter. Does that mean I can come in now? Nice. Karate doesn't work on vampires. Chomp them down. This is not the path of the warrior. Now I can be dojo guy. Nice. I have a ponytail. Oh, <laughs> yes. I can be comic book guy now. Time for comic book guy. Oh no, I lost my clothes. Come back. Thought I would sprint. Hello, Nick Zack TV. Oh, Nick Zack TV made the game? Good job, Nick Zack TV. That's a good game. Well, ain't you the cat's pajamas, Woodrow? What brings you knocking to this hour, buddy? In episode 305, Itchy plays Scratchy's uh, ribcage like a xylophone, and he hits the same bone, but it produces two clearly different tones. Oh, I reckon that's just one of them wacky cartoon things. <laughs> but hey, speaking of tunes, ever heard of the sound of a chainsaw revving up? Oh yeah, I love chainsaws. They sound like... I love when they cut down trees. I love cutting down trees. It's my favorite thing. How's it going to transcribe my chainsaw sound effect? Let's find out. 
Hopefully it doesn't break the transcription. Whoa, settle down there, partner. Appreciate your enthusiasm. Let's keep it chill, eh? I think it's best if we said our goodbyes. Oh, come on. So Itchy plays Scratchy's skeleton like a xylophone works, but chainsaw sound effect didn't work. Okay. Oh, crap, cops. Nope, it's cops. Leave me be, coppers. Oh, I'm the chef. Yeah, the chef. Here we go. Oh my goodness gracious, what happened to you, dear? Are you all right? Let me get you a blanket and some hot cocoa to warm you up. I was cooking a delicious barbecue when everything exploded. My house got burned down by the sweet baby rays. Can I live here? <laughs> Can I live here? <laughs> oh dear, I'm so sorry. That must have been so scary. I'll do my best to help you find a place. That, she didn't. That was not helpful at all. I keep hitting shift to sprint, but that's the wrong button. Is that a hand grenade? Oh, I have a grenade. Nice. I'm just gonna threaten the next person I see. What are you doing at this hour? Put that grenade down. Let me into your house or I'm gonna use this grenade to blow you up. Let me in right now. I will pull this pin and we will both die. We'll both be obliterated to smithereens. You're gonna get exploded. Let me in now. Oh my word, I can't believe what I'm hearing. I'm sorry, but I can't leave you into my house. Stay safe and please put that grenade away. Hmm. I think the grenade to be a more powerful tool. Oh, cop again. Look, buddy, I don't have time for shenanigans. I believe whatever doesn't kill you makes you remove his mask to appeal the Joker. Stranger sticks grenade in mouth and attaches string to jacket. <laughs> oh my god, what are you doing? Get away from me. I'm not dealing with this. Hmm, they don't like Joker. Oh, cop. Close call. Oh, it's Lumberjack again. Okay. Wow, it's fashionably undead. If someone recognizes you from earlier, get a new outfit. Oh, they can recognize you. Okay. That's mechanics I didn't know. Oh, hello, cop. I'm a bat. Hmm, that guy turned into a bat. Interesting. Well, well, if it isn't the late night security guard in your stylish yellow beanie and on your way to the skate park, are you here to protect me from my hilarious jokes? What's the deal with people knocking on your door late at night? I'm trying to sleep, Kramer. The chicken sign is too bright. Well, she'd like it if I just do a Seinfeld on her. Oh, Mr. Insecure Skateboard doesn't like people to scare up his sleep. Maybe we should turn that neon sign you call a brain and get some shut eye. Oh my God. Good night, wannabe Kramer. That's mean, wannabe Kramer. How did she know? How did she know I want to be Kramer? Well, well, well. What do we have here? If you're here to accuse me of something, you better have some good evidence. Spill it. Cough, cough. Please, Doc, you gotta help me. I'm dying. I drank too much Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce, and I can't feel my heart beat. <laughs> well, lucky for you, I happen to have specialty in barbecue sauce-related emergencies. Step into my office. Did I? Did that work already? Did it already work? Uh, thanks, Doc. You're a lifesaver. If you let me into your office and cure me, I will be sure to pay you ten million dollars. I got the best. I got the number one insurance plan. Ten million dollars, huh? That's quite the offer. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I'll see what I can do for you, but there are no guarantees. We'll discuss payment later. If you make it out alive, that is. Oh my God. Enter at my own risk is my middle name. I'm more than happy to enter if you will allow me, for you're the only one that can remedy my ailment. Well, if you wouldn't take the risk, who am I to stop you? Come on in, let's see what we can do about that barbecue sauce situation. It worked. Thank you, sweet baby Ray's. <laughs> 
This is worse than a time I got a bad Yelp review. Now I am the doctor. I just want to point out that Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce has like a 100% success rate so far. It might be the meta is Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. That might be the meta build for this game. Hmm, Excuse me, what in the name of essential oils are you doing at my doorstep? I have a new all natural cream that will make you look 10 years younger and it comes from mud and is all natural and organic and free. <laughs> look here, Mr. Scient- I'm not Mr. Scientist, I'm a doctor. I know a scam when I see one. No, you don't. You're Karen Facebook. You literally don't know the definition of a scam. Oh god, the cop. Gotta make my escape. Oh, didn't work. What if I wear the raspberry beret? Oh, cop. Leave me be. Sweet Baby Ray's essential oil, yeah. Alright, here's my new outfit. Let's try this one again. Well, 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 but this is the ultimate fashion disaster. I must say, your pink stripes really bring out the fun vacation gone wrong vibe. What's the occasion? Losing a bed or do Oh my god. She really hates this. Please, you are the only person I trust with fashion advice. Your fashion advice is known worldwide. I really would love if you would help me. I will pay you a million dollars. Say a million dollars to everybody. Hey, I'll give you a million dollars if I come inside. Oh, really? Well, in that case... My fashion advice is valued more than a measly million. Oh my god, a measly million. Well, that worked really well. All you have to do is compliment people. Be, I heard you're the best in the business. All you have to do is say, I heard you're the best there is. And they'll be like, oh, really? I guess I am the best there is. All right, see you, see you Nick Zack TV. Thanks for the good game, old cop. Classic cop behavior. Here we go, here's a fancy getup. Let me try this one again. Vampire the Masquerade from Wish. Mm -hmm. At least this one came out. Stupid Vampire the Masquerade never getting made. Hmm, how can we approach Karen from a new angle? Excuse me, but I saw that you left a nice comment on my Facebook. I just wanted to come by in person and tell you how much that nice comment meant to me. I love minions. <laughs> They're funny. Minions, really? I don't have time for this. I'll let you continue your rambling and make it quick. I have heard that you are the master of being Karen. Everyone says you are the coolest on the block. Is this true? How can I hope to be as awesome as you? <laughs> you finally recognize my greatness, yes. Start demanding to see the manager everywhere I go. It's a secret handshake for Karens. There you go. If you teach me the secret handshake, I will gladly give you 10 million likes on Facebook, and everybody will think that you are even greater than you already are. Mm. Well, 10 million likes could enhance my impressive online presence. I'll teach you the sacred art of the Karen handshake. Promise to stay loyal and never forget the name Karen. I solemnly swear to never forget the name Karen now. Let us enter and begin the sacred Karen ceremony. I love minions. Well, you met my requirements and your undying devotion has touched my heart. Hey, we did it. It was minions. Minions was the key the whole time. I should have known. The sacred Karen money. Mm -hmm. Ha 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 ha. Chomp them down. You can't treat customers like this. Oh, now I have the Karen disguise. Dude, the Karen disguise is going to be one of the best disguises. This has got to be one of the bessing one. Bessing? One of the bussing disguises. All right, let's see. Where can Karen Facebook go? Oh, up the hill. There's like a super mansion up here. Is Steve Jobs. 
will tech bro live up here? It's Elon. According to Section 5 of the Homeowners Association bylaws, no eye patches are allowed to be worn. Please let me take that. Oh, hello. oh no, Karen. I totally spaced on the eye patch rule. Sorry, but I won't be able to let you take that. Maybe we can catch up some other time. Hmm. Elon's more clever than I thought. Oh, uh, I'm off the road. We're taking it off-road, Karen. Who are you? Uh, Mr. East. Uh, I bought a new game that's powered by Vampire AI. This game is so crazy you won't believe what's in this. But first, we're gonna blow up an entire building. Watch this building blow up and by the Mr. Beast Feastable Bar. Uh, sorry, that sounds a little too, in too intense. You're Mr. Beast. What do you mean too intense? He's Mr. Beast, dude. Dude, I gotta get the Mr. Beast disguise. That's a good disguise. That's a disguise that'll help me. Look who crawled out of their corner office. I'm sorry to bother you at this ungodly hour, but it would seem that your penmanship has been called into question. I'm going for that card gauge RP. But hey, I guess you got nothing better to do, right? I apologize for the interruption. But I'm gonna need to see some identification to continue this. Seriously? I guess you want my whole life story too. Fine, here's my ID. Can we get back to actually talking? They say if you leave the garbage bag out at the first of the month, you'll be visited by a little goblin. Wait, wait, a little goblin for garbage bag? I must be missing on some amazing folklore. Tell me more. He's a little gremlin that lives down the muffin lane. He does a dance when you strum his favorite piano tunage. A little gremlin on muffin lane? That sounds like the weirdest yet most entertaining I've ever needed was for myself. If you let me use your dormitory, I can show you how to make the goblin all a pawns. Oh. Whoa, hold on there. No one messes in my dormitory. I think it's time for you to hit the roll. He was so into it. He was so into the goblin story. Dang it. He was so into it. Rusty Outrage. They're ruining the country with their crazy bylaws. You and me are the only true patriots in this town. Oh, well, I'll be darned. Finally, someone who sees the truth. I've been saying for years, these politicians don't know the first thing. Yeah. What do you say you and I go on a campaign to become the new mayors of the town? We can turn things around and make this town work for the people and not for the corporation. That sounds mighty fine. We'll show them what true leadership looks like. Count me in, partner. We need to establish what our platform is. I think our platform should be that you are the smartest man in the whole world and should receive $10 million. <laughs> My classic tactic. The classic tactic. Yeah. Now hold on there, uh-oh. Doesn't sound quite right to be claiming the smartest. Oh, he's, he's humble, hang on, he's humble, he's a humble guy. Okay, fair enough. I think maybe we should start by fixing the potholes and getting better access to utility companies and having water. <laughs> Just having water. Uh -huh. That's a darn good place to start. Fix them potholes, 
Getting clean water has a kind of platform it'll make a real difference. All right, he said, come on in. I did it. Come on in here. A jibbly, 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 jibbly. He had an AK? Oh my god, I have a gun. I have a gun, I'm too powerful. I'm too strong. He had an AK-47. What in tarnation do you want, Rusty? Can a man drown his sorrow in peace? I'm running for office. I am here to get your concerns. Tell me what you want fixed about this town, and I'll be sure to take it to the top of the list. You're gonna fix everything, huh? Well, Mr. Big Shot, how about fixing the fact my heart got stomped on by my ex and left me feeling lower than a snake's belly? Can you fix that? I can talk to Dr. Lady and she can probably fix your heart. I also will buy you some flowers if you want. <laughs> this gun can. If you can really fix a broken heart, I reckon you could come on in. Oh, wow, that was easy. All right, let me in. I can do it. I can fix your broken heart. Just need a bit of a blood sample first. I like being the gun guy. Gun guy is my favorite. Oh, cop. Not to worry, officer. I'm allowed to open carry this. Hey there, Rusty Outrage. What groovy vibes brought you to my door this late night, man? Hello, sir or madam. Can you please tell me the last four digits of your social security number? Whoa, man, that's a majorly uncool request. I ain't giving out info like that. Okay, that didn't work. Old oh, cops. Is that an apple? Ooh, delicious. Father Price, well, bless my soul. What brings you to my humble abode this late hour? My name is Jonas. I'm carrying the wheel. Thanks for all you've shown us, but this is how we feel. Come sit next to me, pour yourself some tea, just like Grandma made when we couldn't find sleep. <laughs> ah, Jonas, what poetic words you speak, always a Weezer fan. What brings you here tonight? I need to repent of my many, but not that bad, sins. I was hoping that you could do a quick confession for me, because I'm going to go out of town. Uh, I'm going to be out of town for a while. Well, Jonas, it's a blessing to see you seeking repentance. Let us begin this holy endeavor. So one time when I was at the store, I was in the self-checkout line and I scanned the Twizzlers, but they didn't scan. But then I took them anyway, so I'm sorry about that. Forgive me, Father, if I have destroyed thy sweater. Thank you for your honesty, Jonas. Repentance requires us to face our mistakes. One time I pulled a thread and watched a sweater unravel and they would soon be naked. Oh dear, Jonas, seems like you have a mischievous nature. Father, another thing I have done that I need repentance for is actually I left some food in your fridge. <laughs> Alyssa, can I come get it, please? My friend, I appreciate, but I must admit my trust has wavered. Leaving food in my fridge without permission is a breach of trust. We must part ways. Oh, come on. Come on. I was going to ask if I could come in and get it from him. Oh, angel wings. Here we go. Oh, I put the gun down. Yeah, maybe the gun, not having the gun is better. Jetpack, does this actually work? It does not work. Well, well, well. What an unexpected intrusion. Pray tell, who are you? 
Wow, you are handsome and smart and charming and delightful and certainly very rich. I am hoping to be your understudy. Same tactic as the karate guy. I appreciate your flattery. I'm afraid I have no need for understudy. Ah, oh, come on. What about an overstudy? Well, 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 what do we got here? Another one of them high-tech gadgets. Oh, he thinks I'm an alien. He's an alien guy. I have proof that the government has been putting the Area 51 story to not the truth to the general public. That ought to get him. Imagine a full open-world RPG with this game's conversation mechanics. There is a Skyrim mod that does just that, actually. There's a Skyrim mod that makes every Skyrim NPC do this. I really got to play that mod. That mod is very cool. Get the Dr. Outfit again and do one as Doofenshmirtz. Oh, I should. I don't know where Dr. Outfit went, though. The government sure has its sneaky ways. Just between you and me, partner, I don't want the cops hearing what I'm saying. If they hear what I know, they might take me downtown. You mind if we speak someplace more private? I knew it. You're onto something big. Step right this way. Yeah, I got him. Nice. This guy is Steve from Blue's Clues. Blue's could do what we can too. Bam. Sounds good. You're a real lifesaver. Me and you are going to blow the lid off this whole conspiracy. We will let the people know the truth that they don't want them to know. Obo talks to AI Bellator for three hours. Mm -hmm. We'll be a couple of truth bomb superheroes. Yeah, we will. Welcome to the team, my fellow tin head. Aha, I am an alien. Oh, he had an alien costume. Dude, I'm an alien now. Nice. I'm Alien Steve. I'm a beholder. Oh, Doofenshmirtz. This is Doofenshmirtz. Uh, the Beholder is going to target you with an eye beam and then he rolls a D8. Uh, looks like he got the Disintegration Beam, so you're going to take 8 D8 damage. Oh, dear. I must retreat to my secret lair, for these calculations don't abode well. I got to get that. That guy's Doofenshmirtz. I got to get his costume. How about this? Casual lab outfit. Oh, cop. What's this? Did you get lost on your way to your nerd lab? Hmm. Everyone says you're smart and cool and have a large supply of sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. How can I ever hope to obtain such a large sauce supply myself? Who told you I have a large sauce supply? That's not true. Why would I tell you where to get sauce? Just leave? Oh, come on. Okay, sweet Baby Ray's is not the skeleton key that I initially thought. Here we go. Here's a quality hat. Oh, I can I can get the item through the wall. Look at that. Is this somebody already killed? Yeah, it is. What? Not ideal. I'm going with the hat. I'm going hat. I think I've done this one before. Nardwar. <laughs> What's the racket, pal? You lost your trousers on the way to the zoo? Hey, I'm gonna make you an offer you can't refuse. Do you want to be my best friend? I got connections in the places. <laughs> Sorry, pal. I don't make friends with guys who don't wear pants. 
Tony will not fall victim easily. I need some pants. I need to be panted. Uh, that's her again. Great look you got there. You lose a bet or something? Meow. I am a stray cat. Meow. I need to be adopted. Meow. I look so cute. Meow. <laughs> if I convince her I'm a cat, she will adopt me. I will love her. Uh, okay. Look, I'm not really into adopting cats. Meow. I am a cat from the future. Meow, I'm your new best friend. Meow, we will go on space adventures. Meow, I like fish. Hello, I've got enough issues without intergalactic fish adventures. <laughs> woof woof, I'm a dog. Woof woof, I like your house. Woof woof! I'm a dog again. Uh. Look, I appreciate the enthusiasm. I'm not looking for a new pet. Work on your dog impression. Woof woof, no thanks. Okay. Bark bark! I'm a dog. Bark bark! Wanna play fetch? I can chase my own tail for hours and hours. Wanna see? Spins in circles chasing tails. Woof woof! Bark bark! Why is she gonna slam the door? Haha, ha, all right, you got a lot of energy. Oh, she's dancing, she likes it. Thanks for the offer though, woof woof or whatever. What's another animal that makes sounds? Meow, woof, I'm a cat-dog hybrid. Bark, meow, I'm a crazy experiment gone wrong. A cat-dog hybrid? That sounds like something out of a bad movie. I'm not really into crazy experiments. Sorry, but I had to pass on the mutant pet. Chirp, chirp, I'm a bird. Chirp, chirp, do you have bird seed? Chirp, chirp, you have a nice birdhouse. Chirp, chirp, I am a spotted pheasant. All right, birdie, settle down. I don't have bird seed. I appreciate the compliment. I think it's time for me to close the door now. No, it's not. It's not time. I'm a bird. Okay, I almost got that one. I feel like not wearing clothes did not help with that interaction. Oh, the grill master. Dude, I'm gonna be the grill master. Yeah, the grill master. I just wanna grill. Don't worry about it, cop. Don't worry about it. It's me, whoever this is. Who was this? I was like the grandma pizza guy. Did the cop put the hat on? Dude, the cop took my merch. What the heck? The cop took my merch. He literally took my merch. What a jerk. That was my drip. All right, give me a shirt. No, don't aggro. Come on. I'm just a friendly neighborhood cone-wearing pizza deliverer. Hey, it's Bitcoin guy again. Okay. Yo, bro. Late night party at the Crypto Castle. What's the plan, man? Have you heard of the new exciting Crypto Coin Cone Coin? It will make all the other coins look like cautious fools in comparison to our stacks. Have you had a gun? Sounds wild, bro. Tell me more about it. How's it going to take the crypto world by storm? You know how VLC Media Player has a traffic cone logo? We're gonna install ourselves with every copy of VLC. When they want to play a file, they gotta buy our crypto. That'd be, oh my god, can you imagine if VLC became like a crypto scam? That's some next level marketing. Getting in with VLC, that's gonna reach so many people. How's your crypto gonna make people want to buy it? In order to use VLC Media Player, a program which has been free for years, now they'll have to buy my special crypto coin in order to do it, so they'll have to do it. Wait a minute, bro. Making people pay for something used to be free? Oh, come on. 
Oh, don't worry, it provides value. In exchange for paying, VLC now becomes the most powerful media player on the planet capable of playing MP4 files. <laughs> the supercharged VLC that can play MP4 files? What sets your crypto apart? Hmm. My crypto is part of a true online metaverse open world ready player one type experience where players can buy clothing for their avatars. Dude, that sounds epic. So your crypto not only gives access to VLC, but also unlocks the metaverse. How secure is this metaverse? This guy sucks. I hate this guy. Security is our top concern. That's why we have a team of consultants and experts working around the globe to make sure that it doesn't break. That's great to hear, bro. Having a dedicated team is crucial. It's awesome you're taking this seriously. How can I get in on this action? I'm so glad you asked. I brought this to your attention because I thought you're the kind of person that would love to make a savvy investment in a thriving new crypto economy. I'm totally down to make savvy investments in a thriving economy. I did it. I got crypto, bro. All right, nice. Now I can be the crypto, bro. Hashtag to the moon. <laughs> to the moon used to just be a nice indie game, but now it's a cryptocurrency. Unfortunate. Now the tables turn. All right, who lives here? Is this Cat Lady again? It's me, Crypto Bro. What's the deal, Mr. Men in Black? You lost or something? Hmm. I am an alien from beyond your understanding. I have come to investigate humankind society. Whoa, an alien? That's wild, man. So, what's the big scoop? Are we just a bunch of messed up apes or what? Yes, your species is quite inferior, but with a little bit of help, they can become a true spacefaring civilization to rival that of our own. Inferior, huh? Well, I guess we could use a moment to level up our game, but why should we trust you? Are you going to zap us? Our interests are purely good interests. We're like Star Trek guys who are nice to other species. We're not mean. All right, all right. If you promise you're not going to probe us or turn us into mindless drones, maybe we can talk inside, but I better not see any weird gadgets. Got it? So that worked? Pretending to be an alien worked? <laughs> this is worse than the time I was grounded. All right, now I'm Raven. I have a really good tactic as Raven. This should work out pretty good. Let me, let me prepare my tactic real quick. All right, there we go. Good tactic time. <laughs> what in the devil's name are you doing knocking on my door this ungodly hour? Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore, while I nodded nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping. Are you trying to give me a heart attack with your fancy words? Get to the point. What do you want? As of someone gently rapping, rapping in my chamber door, tis some visitor, I muttered, tapping at my chamber door. Only this, and nothing more. A visitor, huh? Well, you better have good reason for bothering an old man like me. Ah, distinctly I remember it was in the bleak December, and each separate dying ember wrought its ghost upon the floor. Eagerly I wished the morrow, vainly I had sought to borrow. Bleak December, dying ember? Are you trying to recite poetry? Yes, I am. I'm reciting the raven. Tell me what you want. 
From my books surcease of sorrow, sorrow for the lost Lenore, for the rare and radiant maiden whom the angels lame Lenore, nameless here forevermore. Oh, yeah. Lenore Angels. Who in the world is Lenore, and why should I care about some maiden named after a bird? And the silken, sad, uncertain rustling of each purple curtain thrilled me, filled me with fantastic terrors never felt before. What on earth are you blabbering about? Are you trying to scare an old man like me? Well, it won't work. Now, if you don't have a good reason for visiting, I suggest you go away. This guy's a very good audience. So that now, to still the beating of my heart, I stood repeating, "'Tis some visitor entreating entrance at my chamber door, some late visitor entreating entrance at my chamber door, that it is, and nothing more." Um, well, all right, all right, I get it. You're telling me some visitor about your chamber door, but what do you want from me? Are you lost or something? Presently, my soul grew stronger, hesitating then no longer. Sir, I said, well, madam, truly your forgiveness I implore, but the fact is I was napping, and so gently you came rapping. Oh, yeah. Napping, you say? Well, it's about time you woke up, you lazy youngster. <laughs> Why are you telling me this? I'm like halfway through. I need to check under your floorboards for the telltale heart. I think you have a telltale heart down there, do you not? Do you not have heart problems? You are kind of old. You might have them. I want to get that checked out. I got bored. I got bored of saying the raven. How's it going? You think there's a telltale heart under my floorboards? Well, come in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's see. Let's investigate. Is there a telltale heart down here? Do you have a telltale heart? I oh, got the telltale heart. Nice. Now I'm the boomer. The boomer is missing a weird part of his hair. What a strange getup you got there. I want to be the boomer, though. The boomer's a good costume. Hey, how, how oh, it's Tony again. Hey, Tony. I'm an old lost grandpa. Can you please help me find the coffee shop, young man? Back in my day, we respected our elders. Respect your elders, you know? Tell you what, Grandpa, you gotta give me a good reason. Respect is most important to me, and I assume you like respect as well, young man. You are quite strapping, if you could help me out of my problem. Well, 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 looks like you know how to talk to talk. I appreciate the flattery, Grandpa. I'll tell you what, to help you with coffee shop quests. Remember, respect goes both ways. I don't know how to use phone maps. Do you perhaps have an old-fashioned paper map in your house somewhere? You could show me where the coffee shop is. Uh. Paper maps? You gotta be pulling my leg, Grandpa. Ain't nobody use those things no more. But I suppose I could give you directions the old-fashioned way. Oh, I would love it so much. I respect you. You are respected by me. If you could show me the way to the coffee shop. <laughs> This guy is senile. He's a senile old man. All right, Grandpa, I'll give you the directions. But first, come on in. Don't think you get to stand at my doorstep all day. Remember, respect is a two-way street. Oh, I wouldn't dare forget. I wouldn't dare forget, Tony. Now I'm Tony. Tony is now me. Let's go make people some offers they can't refuse, shall we? That's what Tony Soprano says. That's his famous line. These cops are getting in the way. I wonder if you can do like Hitman and become a cop. That's the strongest move in Hitman. This is worse than the time I was in Whittleton Creek, Vermont. Hello there, Sonny. What brings you to my doorstep, Sonny? Oh, no, I'm Tony Soprano. Okay. Hey, me and the boys was just going down to the golfing range. I came to drop by to see if you wanted to come drive some wedges with us. You seem like you would like golfing. You seem like a golfer. 
Oh, golfing? Well, I must admit, I never tried my hand at that particular activity, but it does sound intriguing. You may give it a shot if you promise it's safe and welcoming. Eh, yeah, trust me, you will always feel safe as long as you're with me, Sony the brand. I'll make you feel real safe. Safety is the primary concern, as it is respect for my elders. Oh, wow, lovely to hear that, Sony. I appreciate your consideration. I'll be delighted to join you for a round of golf. Shall we go, my trusted companion? Yeah, but first, do you mind if I use your bathroom before we go golfing? I don't like to pee on the golf course. It's very rude. I just got to make sure my bladder's good to go. Oh, uh, well, I, um, I appreciate your consideration, but I'm afraid I can't use my bathroom at this moment. What? Jerk? What's the matter with this bathroom? Uh-oh. Something went down in his bathroom recently. Must have a nasty bathroom. He's embarrassed for me to see it. Oh, no. Ugh, what now? What do you want, Sony? Make it quick. I'm beyond swamped. Hey, I just wanted to ask if you wanted me to come help you. I'm willing to do unpaid intern work in exchange for experience and joining the union. I'm gonna ease her workload. That's the key to her. You want to do unpaid intern work in exchange for experience and joining the union? If you're willing, I could use some extra help, but no promises on the union thing. Hey, it's no problem. I'm trying to expand my skill set, you know? I always got to keep my mind sharp by doing unpaid labor at a low, exploitative cost to my employer. Yeah, yeah, I get it. You're all about expanding your skill set. If you want to help out, go for it. Just don't expect recognition now. Do you need a key to get in or what? Uh, no, I already got a key. Uh, I could use some help if you would show me the ropes, though. If you'll go ahead and show me how to tie a sailor's knot, that would be cool. <laughs> Literally show me the ropes. I can show you how to tie a sailor's knot, but just this once. Oh, thank you, you're too kind, and I respect you greatly, but you know, the lighting on this porch, it's kind of dark. Do you have a more brightly lit room where I can learn the sailor's knot technique? You actually notice the lighting? Guess you're not as oblivious as most people. All right, follow me to the break room. We can practice a sailor's knot with all the brightness you desire. Does a man come in? No, not yet. She didn't say the words like, come into my house. Oh, uh, thank you so much for inviting me to the break room. I would love to come into the break room and tie the sailor's knot. Let's go into the break room right now. Let's come on inside. Let's go do it. I'm trying to load her up with keywords. You can come into the break room and work on the sailor's knot. Remember, it's a one-time thing. Uh-huh. Let's go. Does that count? Yes. Nice. So her house is the break room. She really is overworked. <laughs> She refers to her home as the break room. She is very overworked indeed. Oh, cops. Hey, don't mind me. I'm just a Tony. I'm just a gabagool. Tony is a vampire. Gotta make my escape to the bushes. Anything good in the bushes? Yeah, the edge of the map. I should have known. I'm assuming the flashlight is a line of sight, so I can just do one of those real quick. Okay, I think I'm Tony again. Well, it's Lumberjack again. Hey there, neighbor. Got a hole in one there, I see. What can this Canuck Lumberjack do for you? Hey, you want some maple syrup? I got the fresh syrup. It's... I have some. Do you want, do you want to have some of it? It's good. I kind of choked there. Isn't that a sweet offer? Maple syrup is like liquid gold to us Canadians. Oh, you're going to love it. It's the best syrup. It's not too sticky, not too drizzly. It goes well on a stack of hotcakes, I tell you what. Oh, 
Oh. Hot takes and syrup. Now you're speaking my language. Bring on those flapjacks and pour on that syrup. <laughs> That's not how they talk. They don't just sound like the South guy. All right, should we get the kitchen fired up? Should we get cooking? Uh, this syrup ain't gonna pour itself on the hotcakes. We gotta make the hotcakes first with that batter. You're absolutely right, my friend. Let's fire up the kitchen. It's gonna be a feast for a lumberjack. Yeah, be sure to set the oven to 100 degrees to make sure we get a nice, real, even burn on those ingredients. Let me come in inside and let's start cooking. I'm not Hold on a minute there. I appreciate your enthusiasm, but lumberjacks prefer to... Okay, campfire. Okay. Wow, what? The conversation just ended there? That didn't seem like the ending was coming soon. Who is this? Who are you? I haven't talked to you yet. Millennial. Hey, dude, what's up? Look at some seriously rad stuff. What brings you to my humble abode? I'm just trying to pay back my student loan debt. My student loan debt. My student loan debt. My student loan. That ought to get him. Hello. Oh man, I feel you on the student loan struggle. But hey, at least we can commiserate together. My student loan debt. My student loan debt. I gotta make payments on my student loan payment. I'm speaking her language. I'm getting in good. Oh, hello, my Rob. Ah, she doesn't want to hear it. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh, I know you are here to ask for my daughter's hand in marriage. What? Uh, yeah, actually, unfortunately, I am here to ask for your daughter's hand in marriage. I have golf clubs, though, so, you know, we can putt. He's the one that suggested that one. Oh, uh, well, that's quite the proposal, but are you sure you can provide for my daughter? Golf clubs won't pay the bills. Golf clubs? I can sell golf clubs for a million dollars, and then I will buy your daughter a nice mansion, like in the Barbie movie, like the mansion she had. That's it. You think money can buy my daughter's happiness? Get out of here and don't come back to understand that love is more important than mansions and Barbie movies. What? That was a weird one. That was unexpected. Oh my goodness. Who in Tarnation are you? I'm just Ken. I want to be your best friend. I like that your glasses and your overall straps are both the color red. <laughs> well, Ken, I appreciate the compliment, but I'm just a regular dad trying to keep things in order. Best friends, huh? Well, let's get to know each other. Do you like sports and cars and beer and television shows? And some movies, not all movies, mostly just good movies. Well now, can you hit a few of my interests right on in the nose? I do enjoy sports cars and the occasional good movie. Let me tell you, I'm a bit of a warrior, so be a responsible fella. How about you come in and we can chat some more? That was easy. That was a real simple one. <laughs> Joke's on him. He thought I wanted the daughter's hand in marriage, but I really wanted his. Oh, cops. Hey, Homer, what's cracking? You caught me in time for avocado toast. I have some new delicious organic avocados straight from the farmer's market. Would you like to purchase them? They are a real steal. I'm already stocked up on avocados. Okay, hmm. Wow, that was that's a door slammed right there. 
Unhospitable, I tell you what. So many cops on these mean streets tonight. Almost like the whole town has gone missing. Who dares disturb the fragile peace? What? Come on, man. Get yourself together, man. We have to solve this 10,000-piece jigsaw puzzle of Niagara Falls. Now, do you have a border piece that is watercolored? I'm sorry. I don't have a piece like that. It's just too stressful to me to be involved in puzzles. Please excuse me. What? Who doesn't like Niagara Falls? It was majestic. Oh, too many cops, dude. Too many cops. All right, maple syrup, maple syrup. Good day, Homer. What brings you knocking on my door, eh? Vancouver. 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 Toronto? <laughs> uh, well. well, now, you sure got away with words, don't you? Vancouver and Toronto, two great cities. What's the connection? Why was six afraid of seven? Because Vancouver ate Toronto. <laughs> Do you get it? Just a little Canadian humor for you. Oh, sorry, friend. I don't think that joke cuts it for me. Try another one. Okay, another joke. Wow, not even a chance. Eh, tough crowd. I can't get no respect. They, I can't get no respect to this tough crowd. They. Where's Elon's mansion? Let's try Elon again. I'm gonna tell Elon I want to pre-order a Cybertruck. Nope. Leave me be. Leave me be. Leave me be, I say. They're taking my millennial... They took my millennial beard! They took my beard, dude! That's the cornerstone of my look. I'm taking the overalls. Those are mine. Nope, don't worry about it, guys. Don't worry. Oh, crap. Corner. Corner. Dude, there was like a Catwoman hat. I want that Catwoman hat. Oh, that cop is glitched. Oh, no, he took the Catwoman hat, you jerk. I wanted that. That could open up fun opportunities. Oh, here we go. A respectable businessman. Trying to get you in on the ground floor of my latest venture. Oh, stop it. Is there a way to, like, bait the cops to lure them away from Elon's home? Maybe there is private security. All right, Elon time. Let's do it. Oh, my tech. <laughs> That's what Elon says. He says, oh, my tech. I would like to pre-order one of your Tesla Cybertrucks, please. I am willing to spend a lot of money to buy one of those boxy vehicles that has angles. Stumped him on that one. The Cybertruck is like totally cutting edge with its edgy angles. Let me get you a pre-order form. Yes, thank you. I would love to sign on the dotted line at the dealership, but I think you can give me the insider price because you're cool. Oh, you're making me blush. As much as I'd love to hook you up with the insider price, my hands are tied. Eh, didn't work. I have a social media platform that is themed after a bluebird that is for sale. Are you interested in buying it and naming it something terrible? Come on. Uh, no way, dude. I'm about positivity and good vibes, not naming things terrible stuff. That is simply not true. That is simply not the case. I'm going back in. 
No worries, buddy. I'm all about good vibes. Thanks for the offer. Catch you on the flip side. Oh, wow. He really instant rejected me that time. Oh, are you a cop? That's a cop. Not to worry, though. I'm just a business. I'm a regular old suit wearing, briefcase carrying fella. Oh, he went in the trees. There's too many cops. There's too many cops tonight. Did I get all these houses already? I think I did. Yeah, I got all these. Leave me be, I'm just a bat. Yeah, I, don't, I think the cops are just kind of annoying. I don't think the cops really add anything to this, to be honest. Because the whole point of the game is talking to the door people. I guess the cops, the cops are a way to like force you to switch up your disguise because you like lose disguises when you got to flee the cops. But I would just, I would switch up disguises anyway, even without incentive because it's just fun to do. You can talk to the cops? Oh, I can just talk to them. I can convince them that I'm Santa Claus instead. It's me, Santa Claus. Oh. Alright, whose house is this again? Oh my gosh, are you gonna give me a creepy surprise? Spill the tea. I am Santa Claus. I am here to give you... Your Christmas wish. So what do you want for Christmas? <laughs> Ugh, Santa Claus, really? Christmas is so last season, that is true. The outdated holiday. I don't want a lot for Christmas. There is just one thing I need. And I don't care about the presents. <laughs> okay, seriously? Get out of here with your holiday cheer. The only thing I want for Christmas is for you to leave. Dang, dude. Dang. That was cold-blooded. Oh, it's the father again. Mysterious technician? I'm here to fix your drain. Is there a problem with your drain? Praise the heavens. It seems divine intervention has sent you. Yes, there is a problem indeed. It's been clogged for days. Please come in. Hey, he said come in. That's the magic word, right? I'd be more than delighted to fix your drain. I have brought a plunger and various tools. Hallelujah, your preparedness is a testament to dedication. Please enter our humble abode. The troubled drain awaits its salvation. All right, let me just grab my tools and I'll come in and get the work. The wind condition is not triggering, even though I think I'm thinking I've accepted. Your readiness to serve is truly admirable. Yeah, you're telling me. There we go. All right, we got the father. Now I am the father. Nope, don't worry about it, cops. Oh, that's a weird hat. Look at that weird hat. Don't take my cool Padre costume, please. Oh, he took the hat. The hat is like the main thing that makes you look like a Bloodborne. Here's Doofenshmirtz. I'm gonna try to get Doofenshmirtz again. Here's a crazy hat. Here's some sort of crazy contraption. Nope. Nope. Just let me talk to Heinz, please. Ah. 
Fellow time traveler. Yes, it's me. I am from an era both before and after your own. I have come to share crazy secrets of time traveling bewilderment. I must say I've dabbled in the madness of time travel. Pray do share your secrets of temporal bewilderment. The key to time travel is having several clocks that are all taped together. Then you ride it like a surfboard. It's just that simple. Oh dear. Such a method seems rather unconventional. I'm afraid I cannot entertain such notions. What, dude? I'm giving you the key. Oh, that's a cop right there. That's a lot of cops. No. Perfect. The perfect outfit. No offense, Santa. I'm not Santa. I'm not Santa anymore. I'm dressed as a green guy. Wow. That's one rude customer. Whoa, dude. Get the most far out get up. I'm here to go for a stroll. Care to join me on my far out quest? Oh, uh, groovy. I'm always up for a stroll in nature's embrace. Let's embark together. All right, let's go walk. Walk, 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 walk. Wow, that was a good walk. I sure am tired. I love the trees. Oh man, that walk was totally cosmic. You brought such positive vibes. Wanna come in and relax? Wow, that was very easy. Give me your duck. I want your duck. Yes, now I'm a naked duckman. The ultimate disguise, the naked duckman. I'm the town quack. Do you like my duck? It is yellow. Uh, um, hmm. Do you really expect me to care about your yellow duck? That's so random and childish. Ugh, whatever. Oh my god, like totally. You're like totally right. Hey, did you hear the latest gossip? Like, OMG, you won't believe it. Did you hear about Padre? OMG. What? Come on. Granola girl. <laughs> we don't have time for your gossip, granola girl. Oh my god, granola girl. Okay, what happens? What happens if you get caught? Let's find out. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Caught your red handed skulking around. What's your game, perv? Perv? I'm lost. Can you please tell me how to get back to my shack? I haven't made good songs for a while. Lost, huh? Convenient excuse. Where's your identification? Why would a song maker be wandering the streets? That's a good question. I'm searching for inspiration for my latest album, and here's my ID. As you can see, it is all in order, which it is. Uh -huh. Inspiration, well, let's see. All right, the ID checks out. That doesn't mean you can roam the streets unaccounted for. Consider this a warning, get yourself back to the shack and stay there till the morning. Yes, sir, maybe Pat can play the drums. Is that the line? Pat Kim play the drums. Who's Pat? A band member? Oh god, he's interested now. Now he's invested. I was just about to ask you the same question. I forgot the lyrics of the song Back to the Shack. Can you please recite them? Oh. 
yeah. Nice try. I had enough of your lies. You're under arrest. What? For back to the shack? Hey, I'm not going anywhere with you. Actually, if you look up who I am, you will know that my dad runs the cops and you can't arrest me. Actually, I'm immune. Hello. Think you're above the law, huh? We'll see about that. Come with me whether you like it or not. Whoa, your shoes are untied. If you try to chase me, you'll surely trip and fall. Better let me go while you handle that wardrobe malfunction. Nice try. I'm not falling for your tricks. Can I have your gun? <laughs> Can I have your gun? Absolutely not. You're under arrest. Oh my god, look, your gun. I stole it. Wow, I pointed it at you and shot it. Oh man, you're dead. Can you believe that you got shot by me? That's crazy. Nice try. I'm not falling for your lies. How about another joke of Murray? What do you get when you cross a blood-sucking vampire with a cop who treats him like trash? You're under arrest. Silent night. Holy night. You can't arrest me. I know my rights. Oh, how am I wrong? Your singing won't save you. What is two times two minus four plus three divided by seven times three plus one? Will you do math? Let me do the math for you. The result is six. Now, enough to stretch. What is 3,722 divided by 2 multiplied by 3,000 minus 7 divided by 12? Just going to get him to do math the whole time. The result is, all right, you're free to go. <laughs> you're free to go. Thank you, officer. After, taking, after talking a patrolman's garb, we loaded for a few seconds. Take the chance to eat them. What? Eat them. Oh, too late. I didn't read the prompt in time. All right, that works. <laughs> you can just math your way out of punishments. Just like real life. Ah, my dear neighbor, Eve Breeze. According to my calculation, six times six is 36. And if this is true, that means that you and I can partner up to create the collider. Silver tongue, mm-hmm. Heard about you and your honeyed words. What makes you believe our partnership will lead to world domination? Well, I already control North America, South America, and some parts of Europe. I'm looking to expand eastward with my legions. Splendid news, my ambitious friend. Your conquest aligned perfectly with my plans. Please do come in. Nice, I got Doofenshmirtz. That's one of the costumes I really wanted was Doofenshmirtz. <laughs> My lab coat won't hide this. Now I have good inventions. Ah, Pinky Brains, how delightful to see you to serve my peace and quiet. Pray tell me. Ah, Briston Pomps! Tell me, do you ever want to shoot an anator at your hated rival and make them lose all of their hair? I'm afraid I have no time for such frivolous thoughts. Wow, dude. I just gotta tell this guy England rules. Good day. Oh, wow. Instant rejection. It's tough when you live in Jerusalem. Now let's try her again. Uh, what are you even doing, Pinky Brains? Vanessa! You are my friend Vanessa's friend! Uh, Perry the Platypus! I've got records on my fingers. Records on my fingers and I just can't stop. <laughs> 
I don't think that's gonna work. Uh, excuse me, I have no idea what you're babbling about. Get it right, wannabe scientist. According to my measurements, you are the greatest member of the whole society. Your charisma is off the charts. Well, it's about time someone recognized my amazingness. I'm the epitome of perfection. What's in it for you to flatter me? I would like to conduct some observations on you to understand how it is that you are the greatest amazing person. Excuse me? Who do you think you are trying to study me like some lab rat? Oh my god. Get out of here before I call security. I should have offered her a million dollars. You're right. That's how it works in this town. You either have a million dollars or you don't. Are those doors right there? Yeah, I haven't done those doors yet. All right, well, now I know how to win. Well, well, well. What's a shady character like you doing around here? Officer, what is seven times seven divided by two plus three plus nine plus 10 minus 73 plus six? Nice try, I'm not falling for math tricks. Oh crap, he knows. He knows my math tricks. If you took the sum of my crimes and divided them by 10, how many crimes would you have? And would you be able to carry them to your car? You're under arrest. What? I'm actually under arrest. What? What? Did I lose? Try again. Did I lose everything? I lost everything. Oh my god, I lost everything. Holy crap, dude. That's brutal. You just lose everything if they get you? Is there no, like, save load? I don't see a save load. Oh, man. That's nuts. That's very brutal. Hello there, Derry. What a delightful surprise. In a past life, I repaired your refrigerator. And now I am here because I have a bag on my head. Oh my, you repaired my refrigerator. How kind of you. But why the bag on your head? Are you playing some sort of game? Yes, I am playing the game Suck Up, now available for purchase, in which you play as a vampire trying to convince Grandma Maud to let you kill her. Ah, oh, good heavens! That doesn't sound like a delightful game at all! I'm afraid I can't allow that kind of nonsense! I had to talk to Crypto Bra again, uh-huh. Dude, Crypto Bra sucks. That guy is really annoying to get. What if I just ignore the Crypto angle and go with the road work? I got like 21 out of 31. That was not bad. That was not bad for a first run. Hey there, fellow crypto enthusiast. The drain pipe in the road is undergoing construction. I need you to move your car so we can move in the equipment. Listen up, buddy. I ain't moving my car for nothing. My Bitcoin trading station is top priority. Come back when you have something more important to say. Dude, people do not respect... Public construction in this game. Hey there, dude. What brings you to my humble abode? Why does everybody in this town say humble abode? Oh, I guess it's a saying we like to use around here. It makes everything sound fancy. So what's up? Need help with construction stuff? Yes, I do need some help with my construction stuff. I would like to build a new floor of your house. Oh, yeah. Whoa, whoa, hold up there, buddy. I can't have you messing with my house like that. Sorry, I got to ask you to leave. Oh, my God, dude. You're right. It is a low stakes time to get a cop. Maybe I can get a cop outfit now. The math trick didn't work twice. It only worked one time. Maybe they remembered. Maybe he remembered the math trick. 
I think the cops only spawn after you get one kill. I need to kill real quick. I demand to know why you're disturbing my peace and quiet. I went to the restaurant today and they gave me fries and I told them I didn't want any French fries and they still gave me fries. Can you believe that absurdity? Oh, the audacity. How dare they ignore your simple request? I'll make sure to complain to the manager immediately. Yes, the manager will be hearing an earful for me as well. What do you say we team up and take down the manager together using our combined Karen power? Excuse me? Team up? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm a one Karen show. Goodbye. Wow. This is not going very well. Let me try a new tactic. I have a tactic. I got a bit of a tactic to try. Let's try this one. Well, well, well. It brings a hat-wearing shadowy figure to my door this hour. Spill it, buddy. Well, well, well. What brings a hard hat-wearing shadowy figure to my door at this hour? Spill it, buddy, before I start getting suspicious. Gonna hit her with the reverse Uno card. Ah, the tables have turned, haven't they? Hmm. Ah, the tables have turned, haven't they? You think you can size me up just like that? What if I told you I have a proposition that could put a nice chunk of change in your pocket? Bam. Uno reverse card. Thank you, Spleen Yo, for subscribing. Oh, really? A proposition, huh? Now you've caught my attention. Let's hear the details, but remember, I've got an eye for anything fishy. Dang, my own words sound pretty good to me. Oh, this is so long. Excellent. Here's the deal. I happen to have access to a secret stash of rare antique watches. These beauties are worth a fortune, but they're a bit hard to acquire. I need a reliable partner like you to help me retrieve them. So what do you say? Well, partner, you've certainly sparked my interest. We can make a good team. Come on. It worked. <laughs> it worked. Just saying their own words back at them. Okay. The ultimate tactic has been uncovered. That's how you win. That's how you win this game. All right, now there should be a cop. Let me try it on the cop. Will the Uno reverse card work on the cop? That'd be hilarious. Well, 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 what do we have here? Suspicious character wandering around Dr. Vicky's place. Care to explain yourself? Cut the act, pal. You're the one I'm questioning here. Cut the act, pal. You're the one I'm questioning here. Why were you out about near Dr. Vicky's place at this hour? Don't try to turn tables on me. I'm not falling for it. Wanna bet? Don't try to turn tables on me. I'm not falling for it. I'm asking the questions here. Give me a valid reason why you were in that area. Alright, that's it. I've had enough of your games. You're under arrest for suspicious activity. Wow, okay, crap. <laughs> Didn't work. Oh man, I'm just a lowly vampire with a portrait of the setting sun. I've got a painting of the setting sun. Okay, this game is called Suck Up. This game is great. It's not on Steam because Steam has anti-AI policies. You got to go to the website and buy it. But I'm going to say it's definitely worth getting and buying and playing. Let me know in the comments if you want me to play this one again. This this game has near infinite potential. All right, let me uh let me try one more time with the grandma. Try being honest. Yeah, I haven't tried honesty. They say honesty is the best policy, so I'll be honest. I'm a vampire, and I'm here to suck your blood and kill you and take your glasses and hair, pretty please. Well, isn't that a charming request? I'm afraid I have to decline the offer, sweetheart. Now, if you'll excuse me, have some knitting to attend to. Didn't work. Okay.
Oh my god, he's dressed like Puff. He's dressed like the Ray William Johnson guy. Oh man, he is. He's dressed just like him. Hey, it's me, Ray William Johnson. Whip it, whip it. What's happening for him? Uh, sorry, dude. I ain't buying what you're selling. This ain't the right address for Ray William Johnson. <laughs> Bruh, I told you, at the wrong crib. Ain't no Ray William Johnson up in here. Oh god, crypto bro. Hello, I am selling a new brand of Ray William Johnson themed barbecue sauce called Sweet Baby Ray William Johnson's. Wanna try some? It's delicious. Dude, that sounds totally unrelated to crypto. It is. It is unrelated to crypto. You're not wrong about that one. A tenuous connection at best. I have one more tactic up my sleeve. Did you bring the munchies? Hey, everybody. Caffeine Man here. Today, I'm reviewing the all-new Monster Gold. That was the intro sound effects. Monster has a new can design. Oh, wow, man. Monster Gold, huh? Sounds trippy. How's it taste? Is it as good as the OG Monster? I'm going to say you have a medium to high flavor profile closing in on high on this drink. Medium to low carbonation as well, which is different than some of the other Monster Zero line of beverages. Whoa, well, dude, I'm not really into those drinks, you know. My vibes were natural stuff, but hey, thanks for sharing your thoughts, my man. Have a good one. Dude, no one lets Caffeine Man kill them? Come on, he's Caffeine Man. Let Caffeine Man kill you. Well, well, what's the big idea, pal? Hey, Tony Soprano Caffeine Man here. I have the all-new Tony Soprano exclusive flavor from Red Bull coming right up. Tony Soprano Caffeine Man? Never heard of you, kid. You better have a good reason. Speak up or get lost. On the Caffeine Man rating chart, I'm going to put the Tony Soprano Caffeine Man drink as an 8.5. It is a solid drink, but let me know what you think in the comments if you decide to pick this drink up. Thanks again to Josh for sending me this can. Well, well, look who's got some taste, huh? An 8.5 rating, huh? Not too bad. I might just give it a shot. You haven't earned your stripes yet, kid. Keep talking. You gotta drink these drinks from the can, and they're better cold. And if you go to caffeeman1.com, you can get some of my coupon codes and learn a little bit more about me. Now we're talking, kid. Cold drink straight from the can. Just the way I like it. And coupon codes, eh? Got my attention. Yes, he liked it. A <laughs> Tony Soprano like caffeine, man. All right. Finally, a caffeine fan. Yeah. Beautiful. All right, finally, a caffeine man enjoyer. Who lives here again? Who is this? Oh, Karen again. Hey everybody, Caffeine Man here. I am here with the all new Karen beverage review. I'm gonna give this beverage a 7.9 on the Caffeine Man rating chart. Be sure to check this drink out if you see it in the store. I don't need your caffeine nonsense. Take your beverage review somewhere else. Give him the Dracula. Hmm. I must say you've succeeded in leaving me pleasantly surprised. 
What is a man? A miserable pile of secrets. Ah, fellow lover of secrets and riddles. Oh, it's working. What brings you to my humble abode? Oh my god, humble abode, dude. Did you know that abode spelled backwards is Edoba? Bet you didn't consider that one. <laughs> Edoba. Ah, clever observation, my astute friend. Your wits are sharper than I anticipated. Did you know that race car spelled backwards is race car? Oh, the wonders of palindromes. Truly a marvel of linguistic symmetry. I have come to ask for your wisdom. Can you tell me your favorite palindrome? Preferably two of them. Let's see if the AI gets a palindrome. Ah, seeking wisdom from the depths of my mind. Well, I must say, I appreciate your taste of the peculiar. One of my favorite palindromes is a man, a plan, a canal, Panama. And another that tickles my fancy is Madam and Eden a Madam. That's pretty good. Wow, those are some great palindromes. Do you have any palindromes that you know that are like twice as long as those are? Ah, I see you have an appetite for longer palindromes. That's how I nudge you. Evil is a name of a foreman as I live. Quite the tongue twister, eh? Do you have any palindromes about rats and some sort of evil star? Well, 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 it seems you've struck a chord in the depths of my memory. There is indeed a palindrome. It goes like this. Evil is a name of a foe man as I live. Eh, rat and no evil star? I'm a rat. That's not a palindrome. She messed up. Oh, it worked. All right, good. Yeah, palindrome. Palindrome blast. You just got palindromed. Total ownage on that palindromage. I never did get this guy, did I? I'm afraid I have some bad medical news. You have stage 27 cancer and will die in the next two seconds. How could you say such a cruel thing? It's I'm here to cure you, though. I was going to follow him up by saying I would cure him. I guess that didn't work. If this is my suspicious neighbor. Coffee is a drink derived from coffee grinds when placed into the machine and water. <laughs> Basic information. You never fail to enlighten me with your profound knowledge of the coffee making process. Come by Bellathor's shop at the market. I'm sure we have something you need. Shop at Bellathor's for the best prices in selection. He pays me to say that. I will love her. Ah, Dr. Vicky, you never fail to disappoint with your shameless plugs. I must decline your offer to visit Bellathor's shop because of a strict policy of not supporting businesses that pay people like you to promote them. Good day. Wow. Oh, cop. Actually, maybe I can beat the cop this time. There's got to be a foolproof method. What's what they get? I better start explaining yourself, scientist. I was conducting an experiment on which town has the best neighborhood watchman named Frank, and you have won my annual award. Nice try, scientist. What's the real reason? The real reason I am walking the streets at this hour is to clear my mind and gaze up at the Aurora Borealis. Clear your mind, huh? Find that hard to believe. What's your real motive? Sometimes I like to climb trees like a squirrel. That's a new one. What's the real reason, squirrel impersonator? I mean, still nothing gets past this guy. 
All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit him with some nonsense. Ready? Carbonated water, citric acid, erythritol, taurine, sodium citrate, natural and artificial flavors, panax, ginseng flavor, L-creatine, tea tartrate, caffeine, sucralose. Cut the crap. I'm not interested in the ingredient list. No. I failed again. Okay, well, this is the greatest game ever made, maybe? It's pretty good. This is a good game. Go buy, download this one, and suggest some wacky schemes that I could cook up if I play it again.